Okay. We're putting a 16 inch on to see what happens. <laughs> okay. All right. What were you looking at? I want you to step on this board and tell me what you think about it. Okay. Let's do that. So, this is an experiment on suspension with skateboards, right? Mm hmm. Okay. This is our upside down suspension truck. So is there something specific that I should be looking for? Just this, just, you're, you're familiar with familiar what suspension feels like. So when you step on it, let me know if that's what this feels like. Okay. I do weigh 200 pounds, so we're about to find out what, what that looks like on this. Oh, wow. A little bit of clearance issue, but... It's weird because it's... It's almost seamless. I noticed that there's give, but it's not from the flex of the deck. It's from some Something. other, some <laughs> other, some other place. Yeah, which is, which is the ultimate goal of bicycle suspension. You know, you're trying to make, if you're trying to introduce something that is, you know, not going to inhibit the quality and feel of the ride. So I think I've not getting enough flex. I, I tried to adjust for your weight instead of mine, but I think I overdid it. Okay, so with bicycles, you want your static sag to be 20% of your overall stroke length. Okay. I was reading 30. 30 for more of a downhill bike. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I'd say we're maybe 2015. So, we're, okay, maybe we're going to a good spot. A good start because I mean we're I mean our our stroke length is effectively less than an, a half of an inch right I mean isn't that all we're getting as far as our suspension we're stroke? getting maybe three quarters of an inch okay all right so an eighth of an inch would be a pretty good you know stroke sag length. yeah step on it and bounce it and of course when you uh... <laughs> that's low though easy to push yeah. So let's do some quick tests on it. We might be able to see, so it might not record, but we're going to do some tests and report back. It's just, I don't, it can't handle much without dragging the deck, so let me... <laughs> this... Zhuk as it absorbed that energy. And the bottom scraped up here because it had bottomed out like that. Which is which indicates that it's actually going through its its travel. Yeah. Well there it is. The angle of science. Like it's working. Switcherowski. Rolls right over without any trouble. It doesn't even feel like it phases it at all. I wish we could hit some larger obstacles without bottoming out the deck for the, the upside down truck. Yeah. I think we could make that work. Okay. This is where my seat is, and this is where the rear axle is, and we're a good eight inches behind it now. I mean, I can't... Before, if I just put weight here, I could lift up the front wheel. Like, just by doing this. And <laughs> now, it's planted. Good! And it looks... it looks way cooler. 